Hey y'all, it's Kate, Chaos, Laddie Roo with Kate's Garden and Chicken Rambles, and occasionally my rambling 13 year old PPC, which stands for Poultry Protection Cat. So you can see we still have a lot of snow on the ground. This is now Tuesday. It is starting to melt a little bit around the edges. Um, starting tomorrow night, we're supposed to be getting rain for three straight days. So um, I'm still gonna continue to put off the fence work until I, you know, until it falls more or weather gets better. We were, <laughs> I'm talking right now, Mr. Cosmo. Um, we were soaked and spongy, then we got all the snow, which just sat here for days, and slowly melting. And then when you add three more days of rain on top of that, it's going to be a gross mess. I think there's possible inland flood warnings. We'll see. Part of it's just because our ground is so soaked right now. You know, we didn't get all the snow. We got rain. And, we, you know, the ground was just like, you almost felt like it was going to suck you in with every step. So this is retreated. Laddie has not come to the back porch or wanted to come in the back door because he doesn't like to walk on the snow. None of them really do. I see a few little footprints, but there's one. Your feet are wet, mister, and you're on top of my head. Hop off. Sorry about that. Yeah, I know it's cold. Doesn't mean because it's cold, you get to stand on my head to keep your feet wet. So there's some little loop of of footprints here where you can see where somebody hopped off here closest to me. Let's see if I can get through this net out of the way. So they hopped off, they went out, made a circle and came right back, <laughs> got back up on the pallet. They were like, oh no. I think it was probably some of the young ones who weren't quite sure what to make of the snow. I mean, they kind of seemed to know they didn't want to be up in it, but Anyway, um, I did see one of them venture along the very edge and then run as fast as she could. She, let me shrink this down. She came down here, went along the edge where it's a little bit thawed around the edge of the fence. She got to that stump and then she ran as fast as she could over the cabbage, which is probably still frozen at the time, but she pecked at it and then she backed up closer to the pavilion because there's a ring of, um, where the roof protected it and you know, where it's starting to thaw a little bit. And nibbled on that a bit but she retraced her steps she did not make a new path to the snow she's like i'm not going to be that adventurous and that was zen zen which uh i've had three eggs today two regular and a pullet or no two pullet and a regular so i think zen zen and who's right there she's the she looks almost a lot like the brahmas except for she's smaller um, and she's got uh, the dark gray legs. She's an East, uh, Chigmo. She's an Easter egg. -er. That's Zen Zen. So her and Lily, which is the Colombian rock cross there, white with the black tail. She, they're almost marked almost the same, except for um, Lily has a little yellow legs here. She's coming out. Well, those two were late molters. They're only a year old. I was shocked to see them molting at one year, but they were wee, small molts, but it took, they went off egg laying for probably a couple months. Okay, you can stand up on me. Just don't get on my head. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's Laddie. He wants to kind of get this claw up by my juggler. I don't know what it is. I think he's just comfortable up there. He's nested in my hair, but let me shrink this down. So, there's Luna, for anybody new or newer, if you haven't watched past videos, she's the Silver Lace Lion Dot. Zin Zin is the, the brown and black Easter Egger. Lily is the Colombian Rock Cross. She's the white and black chicken with yellow legs. In the chicken shack, which is like a little, just a loafing shed for chickens now. Um can be converted to a regular coop. It was a coop and now it's a, just a loping shed. It gets all the morning sun and not the evening. But that is the two Brahmas. 
we've got Neve walking across the top, top, across the roost, and her sister Kiva there below her. They all have Celtic names or flower names. Okay, now I went to a trend. This is Cosmo. Cosmo was a prim for Primrose, but turned out to be a boy, so we went with Cosmo. It's supposed to be a girl. And then we have the two leghorn crosses. This one here with the little one black feather. The one black feather on its back is Miss Flower. And she is a leghorn cross with a gold laced wine dot. Just that one uh, lace feather and her very, the feathers closest to her body are all kind of a, a, a gold color, but that's all they got from their, uh, uh, the gold laced wine dot side of the family. And this one that's all white, she's got a little bit of, you see, it's not dirty. She has a little bit of like butter colored wings mixed in with her white. And you see, maybe she goes by here better. Yeah, where it looks like she might be dirty, that's kind of a buttery color. And uh, I guess at certain certain lightings, you can see it down here a little bit in, in underneath. Oh, the hint of gold. Sorry, let it get off me to stand on the hint of gold under their uh, in their tail feathers. Yeah, you guys don't make it easy, you know. You're like, so this is about us. And you see almost some like with some butter in there, almost like a you know. And, uh, yeah, Cosmo, of course, he's an Easter egg aroo, beautiful colors, horrible attitude. And then Laddie, my old roo, older roo, come on, who is uh, an Americana, come on, hop over here, come on, hop over, come on, Laddie. Okay, step up then. So if I just stand here, you gonna talk to Cosmo? Yeah. Tell me about it. So, it's been some cold, lonely nights as a bachelor. Are you doing all right? You don't have to share the heater. Yeah, I know. He's like, heck yeah. It's just a little radiant heat thing made for like a brooder. So it, it doesn't really change the air temp in there, maybe a tiny bit. And he only feels the heat if he gets up next to it. So it's not like a full blown heater. His water will still freeze. Um, if it gets down in the, you know, like into the twenties, but usually if it's been in like, it's thawed water and we just get down to 32, it doesn't always freeze in there. But, he does have a couple of black spots on his comb, which I don't think is the frost. I mean, he's got a rose comb. Only thing I can think of is him. He's come through the cat door and the screen door up front, and it's got it's metal, and there's a piece of it that's kind of loose. And so all I can think of is maybe he's nicked his comb that way. What's wrong? What's up with your comb, Mister? So anyhow, that's it. Birds are good. You get some more straw. All the crap that they had been kicking out, I scraped down as a little path for them over the snow and when it, you get all that rain to the chicken shack. And uh, the poo is less distributed all over the run right now. Since I moved that, since from yesterday's video, I moved the that cross roost closer to their coop and the light. And so the poop is staying from that beam over to the, the poo is staying from the beam over to the coop. And uh, it's usually not an issue. Yeah, they do, I mean, they poop in the other 10 foot by, the other 15 feet, what, five by 10 area that is their uh, um, run area. But it's usually not as much as it's been because it's been just so cold. They have been, you know, they've been in for days. 
So besides pooping in a place they don't normally poop, there's more poop everywhere. And I try to, I really, in the summer it's not so big a deal, you know, before they sleep at night it's where they poop and then occasional poops in there. But, um, so I scrape some out and then I'm going to put, I'll put another layer of straw down. We need to get some more straw. So until winter's over, um, because there is concrete down below that, just to help keep, you know, help keep, you know, their feet warm. Because on these cold and the next few days, if it's rainy, I know that's all use a little shack a lot. We'll probably go back and forth. That's what they typically do in the rain. If it melts through here, then there'll probably be a path between the pavilion and the loafing shed, the chicken shack. So, yeah, so the floor's been dirtier, but since it's warmed up and they're out of there today, I was able to get some of the excess poo out of the, the run. And the run, um, I do deep litter in the coop where they roost at night. Um, but this winter, I'm doing deep litter everywhere. And I do kind of, you know, if there's clumps of really wet, gross stuff, I will scrape it out and just put it out here to dry in the air in the sun. But uh, I use straw because straw has a, a waxy texture, a waxy film to it. And it doesn't absorb the moisture like wheat like hay would hay is expensive and you know it's needed to feed animals not for bedding so i use a straw mixed with uh, uh pine shavings and that gives a nice uh different kind of texture helps all the yuckiness fall through and they like to dig in it so that's one thing about them being in there. i feel the runs big enough to keep them out of the wind and the rain like i said i always leave this door open and they can scratch around in there and I'll throw uh, corn or a little scratch down and after I put down a new bedding and they'll go through it. There's a little corn out in that path, but. So yeah, everybody's doing well. Laddie's doing well. I'm gonna take a closer look at his little comb, but I think it's where he scraped it. I don't, because it's not at the, like the tips, like where you would see a regular comb chicken start to get frostbite. It's, like little nicks in it. And knowing him, he's, you know, besides jumping on me, he has a heated water bowl out here. He is a uh, bumped into other things. So that box is, the box is true, but it's full of T posts. Oh, PPC's back. So on the super, super cold, oh, he's hiding behind that little tree right there. There's a bump to the right of that tree. It's chaos. He's following along the little fence path too. We've had some of the ferals visit our back porch and eat the old eat dry out there. So they maybe have a little path, but yeah, he stopped right there. He's sniffing something. Anyway, he's on these super cold nights. I mean, I've always made him come in, but yeah, he, he would act like he wanted to go to the door and I would open it and he would like take a sniff and say, oh, hell no, I'm staying in. So of course, you know, though he may not have been in for, you know, 11 and a half months, slept in the house, he uh, claimed his spot right up against, you know, my knees or right by my shoulder. Baby Kitty was not happy with that. Baby Kitty's the next oldest at 12. And... He's, he's sniffing around, seeing if he wants to be around his chickens. Uh, in the house, Baby Kitty and, and Pandora Pandy are the oldest. But uh, he comes in and he's like, I'm the indoor-outdoor kitty. I'm, I'm the boss kitty. So he goes in with the chickens. I have If you're new, welcome. And, um, I have some older videos where... Uh, He's laying with, I'm out in the hammock and he's laying under the hammock with all the chickens around him. Okay, so this isn't chaos. This is Nomad. And one of the ferals from next door. You guys want some food? I'll give you some dry. First, you gotta get this rooster off my head. Damn it. 